This is Dror Moshe Kasuto. Shalom Uvracha. We're in the third part explaining about Noach and his holy ark. Vaydaber Elohim el Noach lemor Hashem, the Creator, said to Noach, Tzemin ha-teva ata v'ishtecha uvanecha. Now you can go out from the, from the ark. Um, you, your wife, your children, and your daughters-in-law and with you. All the animals, everyone, to go out um, from the ark. And really they came out and Noah uh, built an altar for Hashem, for the Creator, to praise Him. Um, And he sacrificed sacrifices on that altar from the pure animals. Like you remember, um, the impure animals came pairs to the ark, only a couple of every kind. But the pure ones, um, he brought seven uh, pairs from everyone. So he had more animals um, for that sacrifice. וירח אדוני את ריח הניחוח, ויאמר אדוני אל ליבו, לא אוסיף לקלל עוד את האדמה. When the Creator smelled the smell of those sacrifices, he said to himself, ויאמר אדוני אל ליבו, he was telling himself that, לא אוסיף לקלל עוד את האדמה, I won't curse the land anymore because of the man, בעבור האדם. כי יצר לב האדם רע מן עוריו, because that's the nature of of people. People are violating and sinning and lying and they are corrupt. And I will not gonna keep on hitting and, and punishing the, the, the live creations like I did. And then um, the, the weather started to change. Um, until that day, all the, all the days were bright and everything was a blessing. But since that day and on, um, the season started to take place um, on earth, in our world. Um, time of harvest and heat and cold, summer and winter, day and night, will not going to stop. So that was a natural process that star- started, means... A process in nature, not a natural process, like people say that nature happened. No, the Creator set the nature in a different way since that moment and on. To have the, um, the weather changes and the seasons of the year. And Hashem the Creator blessed Noach, Vayvarech Elohim et Noach ve'et banav, and he blessed them for them to fill um, the, the, the world with children. And all the animals will, will surrender to you and all the birds. Um, and they're all being given to you in your hands to control. Um, and now since that day and on, the Creator realized that humans, they don't have that power anymore to hold themselves from eating um, meat um, because that their spiritual level went lower, so they were not able enough um, to, to be vegetarian anymore, and he had to approved to allow them to eat animals and that's when he taught Noah um, the obligation to slaughter the animal in a kosher way and uh, the ritual slaughter um, um, like we know today that is um, the, the less um, painful for the animal and also spiritually helping the spirit of the animal to rise to a good place and not to um, to suffer and to stay stuck in physicality, just to set the spirit of the animal free. Now, today, uh, ritual slaughterers, Jewish ritual, ritual slaughterers, 
not always doing their job properly. We know that there are many, um, many uh, lackings in that system of kosher meat in our generation. And therefore, it's much better to reduce eating um, of meat and meat products um, as much as possible. Definitely, it's not the will of Hashem that we will kill for our life and to stop lives of animals, not for a great need, and just for our lusts and desires, for sure, is not a noble cause. It's not a worthy cause just because we are like drooling for a piece of steak or a burger. You're stopping a life of an animal when you take that decision. You're cooperating with factories that are slaughtering millions of animals a year and growing them in, in, in ways that are impossible to describe, real abuse in animals. And this is something that we all must take into our hearts and to pay attention. No, I'm not saying don't eat meat, I'm not lecturing, I'm not preaching, I'm not, I'm just saying that we need to be aware much, much more to that uh, painful subject because with no doubt um, we are suffering and we're going to keep on suffering from abusing innocent animals for no reason. It's not the will of heaven, it's not the, the right way to walk. And, and to work. Um, there is another place in the Gemara. Gemara is the Talmud, the ancient scripts of, of the wise Jewish uh, people from 2,000 years ago or so. And over there it's written on, on geese that have been um, fed um, too much um, and they became so fat that it damaged their health. And the Gemara over there is saying that because that they've been fed not in a proper way that made them suffer because of the way that they've been fed, so we're going to be judged on that. So human race people will be judged, means punished, because of how they treated those geese, those animals. So it's our responsibility. There is another story about um, Rabbi Yudha Nasi that one time a calf that was on his way to the temple to be slaughtered over there as a sacrifice and he was terrified and scared from death. He didn't want it to be killed and he ran to hide under the cloaks of Rabbi Yudha Nasi. And Rabbi Yudha Nasi told him, you should go, just like he rejected him. He told him, you created for, you have been created for that. And, and there was an aspect of cruelty in that behavior of Rabbi Udanasi. And Rabbi Udanasi suffered for 10 years from crazy pains in his teeth. For 10 years, and he, nothing that he did helped him to remove the pain from his mouth for 10 years, until one day, his maid, she found... Um, in the house, tiny um, mice, babies of mice, and she took them to throw them out, like to kill them. And when he saw it, so he told her, Rachamav al kol masav, the mercy of the Creator is on all of his creations. Don't kill them, put them down somewhere and let them like find their way, bring their mother to them. Like he gave her an advice not to kill those. Um, um, helpless uh, tiny mice and in that moment that he revealed his mercy um, the pain from his teeth been removed completely and he been healed 10 years it took him to understand the lesson so we are suffering as well and we have issues and it's better for us to learn the lesson and and to stop abusing and thinking that if it doesn't scream, so it, 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 he doesn't suffer. Or if I'm hungry, it's justified for me to kill and like do whatever I, I want to because I'm hungry. That's not human uh, behavior.
May the Creator bless us all to be honest and powerful and strong. Amen. Thank you. We hope you enjoy this video very much. Please now remember to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com. May your light shine always and your request should be answered with the greatest blessings. Amen.